I had a viewer ask, and he wants to know, how do you convert a big CSV file into a GPX tracks? The CVS file collected all the data with latitude and longitude values from different GPS tracks. I had no clue what a GPX was, uh, so I quickly Googled it, and it's basically an XML format of some GPS uh, locations and coordinates. So then I Googled a little bit more. I said, you know, GPX on Linux. Actually, I, convert, I, I Googled how to convert CSV to GPX Linux. And uh, the first thing that came up mentioned a program called uh, GPS Babble. And so I quickly uh, used Aptitude and I searched for GPS and I just put a B like that. And of course, that program was available. And I installed it using Aptitude. Uh, as you can see by here, there's an I indicating that it's already installed. And there it looks like there is a GUI too, which I did not look at, so you can do that. But uh, this basic one, especially if you're gonna be uh, scripting this out, is what you want. And the command to convert a CSV file, a uh, comma separated, uh, I always say comma separated value, but uh, it's actually comma separated DV stands for something else. But um, <clears throat> First, I needed to get a CSV file that is GPS uh, coordinates. Uh, so I just Googled it and found an example one, which isn't real locations, but it's the correct formatting. So I just used that. I put it into a file called gps.csv, hit enter, and there you can see you have the latitude, longitude, and you know location, and a little more of a comment there. So how do we convert this into a GPX format using uh, GPS Babel? Well, once you have GPS Babel installed, we'll say GPS Babel, and we'll say dash I for the input and the name of the input file. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, what type of file it is, CSV. And then we'll say the file input, so dash F for the input file, CSV. And then we're just gonna say the output file, dash O, and we're gonna say that it's going to be a GPX format because that's what the viewer requested. And then dash capital F for your output file and we'll just call it new.gpx. So let's review, we got the name of the program, dash I for the type that the input file is, it's a CSV file. The name of the file, so dash F says this is the name of the input file, dash O for the type of output file, GPX, and the dash capital F for the output file, we'll hit enter. And if we now cat out new GPX, you can see that we now have an XML formatted GPS um, file. So that's it, uh, fairly simple little uh, one-liner there. And that's how you do it. So I thank you for watching. I thank the viewer for asking the question. As always, I hope you visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris at the K. There should be a link in the description, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.